Check out this great running 350 four barrel factory four speed 1975 Pontiac Firebird formula. It's got its correct formula hood, which the hood's in excellent condition. As far as the gaps go on the hood, pretty equal gap. The hood sticks up just a little bit here on the driver's side. As far as the grill goes, the grill is original also. It's got some pitting on the chrome here at the bottom, just a little bit. It's got the hard rubber bumper. The engine runs real nice and smooth. As we're looking up and down the sides, it's got a really nice driver paint job. I'm guessing the paint's probably 10, 12 years old, but still has a good shine. Front fender, passenger side, has no blisters, just nice and clean. It's got some BFG radials with some excellent rubber on it. It's got the snowflake rims. anywhere on the lower rear quarter. It's got some water drops in it, but um, around the wheel well, wheel well is perfect. No blisters. No blisters anywhere on the driver's or passenger side. So we open up the door. The rubbers are excellent. Very pliable. Corner of the door. The bottom corner is nice. Door panel is in excellent condition. The black around the uh, door handle could be repainted again but other than that it's uh, the panel itself is great it's got factory cloth seats no rips or tears anywhere in the front buckets and the back seats excellent as well from my judgment I'm guessing the interior is 100% original you can see that the carpet is just a little bit faded in the center hump there also as you look across there's some broken plastic along the back edge that needs to be replaced. That's all original condition as well. So I don't think anything's been done to this interior. Um, as you look across the dash pad, it's perfect. There's no cracks. Still has the grab handle. You can kind of see here also around the factory four speed. Um, that center hump there is just weathered a little bit on the carpet. shuts nice, lines up good. It's got a nice sound and dual exhaust, comes straight out the back. On um, the back bumper area, the fiberglass here, back bumper area has some stress cracks in here too. Those enduro bumpers just, after a couple years, they've always seemed like they've had a couple some cracks in them. Uh, rear quarter, no blisters on the back side of the driver's side rear quarter. No blisters down low or on the rocker or the fender. There again, front corner of the door. Got the factory seams are nice. Rubbers are in great shape. Rips or tears on that driver's seat. It's got the original seat belts that are faded also. Dome light works. Um, you can kind of see on both sides of that plastic and by the back window the plastic is just gets brittle back there. You can buy that reproduction. Door panel driver sides absolutely grab handles nice. It's a little cold in Iowa today. Heater fan works good. Factory tack works. Does have a factory clock. Um, clock is not working. 
factory gauges all work. The oil pressure gauge is carrying about 35 pounds of oil pressure after it's warmed up. Temp gauge is working, fuel gauge and volt gauge. All the gauges are working properly. Um, brake light comes on with the e-brake. E-brake works. Does have tilt wheel. Factory uh, steering wheel and the horn works. I really like this shifter. It's got the factory Pontiac shifter on it. No one's ever messed with this car. Um, when I bought it, the previous owner stated it was 77,000 original miles. And judging by the interior, the four speed, um, all the gauges working, condition of the car, I'm, I'd almost guarantee that it is. So kind of a recap, the in interior's in great original condition. Uh, exterior paint is a real nice driver quality. Not a show quality finish, but a nice driver quality finish that was done probably, I'm guessing 10 years ago or so. No blisters anywhere that I seen down low on the car. Had a few little stress cracks around the front bumper and around the back and enduro bumper. And uh, another thing is the speedometer works good. Shift's great. The tack doesn't bounce around or anything. That works excellent as well. The shocks are okay on it. I guess if you're going to upgrade anything, I'd probably put some rear shocks on it. When I hit a couple of those bad bumps back there, you could just, you kind of could hear the shocks bottoming out a little. Second gear scratch. Gets right with the program. Here's your tachometer. Car shifts beautiful. Steers excellent. It does not need alignment, it goes straight down the road. Um, brakes are nice, don't pull left or right. I'm assuming they're disc brakes on the front. Just a real nice, tight Firebird formula with a factory four speed. To find one of these old Pontiacs that everything works on, including the horn and radio, the radio works as well. It's a nice original driver.